Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's doing good. Sorry it's been a while since I've uploaded. Um, just been busy on my job, but I'm finally back home now. And we're going to do an old change on this, and I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Thank you for all of the support that you've been getting on the channel lately. Again, even though I don't upload, we still get a lot of comments. Uh, we have a couple new subscribers, so stay tuned until the end so I can show you guys the list of the new people that we have on the channel. So right now we're going to go pick up our oil in our oil filter. Uh, after that, we're going to get started with our oil change. thing you're gonna do is you want to jack the car up and make sure you put jack stands under it put it high enough so you have a lot of um, room underneath the car all right so once you have the car up in the air all you're really gonna need for the oil change is a small flathead to take the um, skid plate off and you're gonna need a 17 socket to take your um, drain plug off all right so we're under the car um, this is what you're gonna use the flathead for so this is the skid pan that you're gonna or the skid plate that you're gonna take off so there should be one two three four down there and then five of the flatheads and then you're actually gonna need a Phillips screwdriver also to take this off and there should be two in front So once you have the skid plate off, it's literally going to say your engine oil right here. So this guy with the little blue marker is going to be your uh, drain plug. So that's going to be your 17 socket that we're going to uh, use to loosen that up. So right next to your drain plug is going to be your oil filter. It's not hard to locate both of these at all. They're literally right by each other. So right now we're going to go grab our drain pants and we're going to get started. So before we drain the oil. Um, I like to open this little cap so it helps the oil just flow out better. So go ahead and take that off and then we'll go ahead and drain the oil. So go ahead and grab your 17 and we're going to put it in that little bolt and we're going to go ahead and loosen it up and drain the oil. So once you see that there's barely any oil dripping or coming out, we're going to go ahead and take off the oil filter which is right here. So when you take the oil filter off, be careful because there's going to be some oil in there and it's going to um, drip some more. So make sure you still have your, your drip pans right under it so you can catch the oil. So once you take your oil filter off, we're going to wait for pretty much all of the oil to just drain out. And while we're waiting, you're going to grab your new oil filter. What I like to do is I like to fill up the oil filter with um, your new oil just halfway just so there's already oil in there so you're gonna fill that up with some oil and you're also gonna get some of this new oil and you're gonna put it on this little seal right here also just a heads up um, when you take your drain plug off there's a little washer in there when you take it off make sure that you take this washer off with it and when you put it back on make sure that this washer is in there also all right so before we put our drain plug and our oil filter back on uh just make sure that wherever there was oil that like splashed anywhere that you just clean it up yeah just make sure everything is clean and then we'll put everything back together again make sure that this little washer is in there you want to make sure that it's in there because if not you're gonna risk a leak so make sure that it's on there all right so once we put our drain plug back we're gonna torque it back on there so once you made sure that your oil filter and that your drain plug are on there um, again just make sure that everything is clean and wiped down 
uh, there's no oil left over or anything. So once all of that is done, you're good to put the skid plate back together. Um, it's just gonna be the same process that we did the first time. Just make sure that all of the screws are on there and uh, you're good to go. All right, so now that we put everything back together underneath the car, uh, you're gonna grab your funnel. You're gonna grab your funnel and uh, 1.5 liters take like 3.7 quarts of oil. All right, so once you're done putting 3.7 quarts of oil in there, uh, go ahead and close everything up. Right now we're gonna put the car down, so we're gonna take it off the the jacks and put it on the floor. Um, before you do that, it's good to make sure, just to double check that there is nothing leaking before you put everything down and have to like put everything back up. All right, so now that we have the car on the floor, we're gonna start it up and just have it running for like a couple minutes, just so the oil cycles through. And then we'll check the oil level and then we'll add oil as um, as we need to. All right, so we've been running in the car for a couple minutes now, so now we're gonna go ahead and check our oil level. So we're gonna go ahead and pull your dipstick out. You're gonna wipe it. Uh, make sure those are clear. Uh, you're gonna go ahead and put your dipstick back in. Pull it back out. And then you're gonna check where your level is at. So you should see now, um, I don't think my camera is gonna focus, but you should see now that there's, there should be oil in that very top dot. So once you make sure that your oil is at that second bubble or like the very top bubble, and uh, you made sure everything is good, everything is back together and no leaks or anything. We're gonna go ahead and reset our oil life percentage and I'll show you guys how to do that too. So to reset your oil life, you're gonna press your uh, start button. Uh, don't press in the brakes or don't press in the clutch because you don't wanna turn it on. So you're gonna press it twice. So do it once, you're gonna wait for this and then you're gonna press it again one more time. So this is just your electronics on. So you're gonna go to your oil life and then you're gonna press and hold enter. So you're gonna press and hold enter until this shows up. You're gonna go to A or item A. You're gonna, ha you're gonna go to item A because item A is for all changes. You don't wanna do any other items because it's gonna reset something else. Once you go to item A, you're gonna press and hold enter again. And it's gonna say reset complete. And there it is, your oil life is back to 100. So yeah guys, that's it. That wraps up our oil change for today. Again, we got to reset our light. Um, I made sure that there was no leak, so we're good on that. Everything else is good, our, our oil level is good. So make sure you do the same checks, just to make sure that you're good to go. I just wanna say thank you so much for everyone that subscribed um welcome to the channel all our new subscribers welcome thank you to everyone that's showing support to our channel even when i'm not uploading i really appreciate it i've been getting a lot of followers on my instagram too for the car so make sure you guys are following that but thank you guys so much for watching the video uh don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe uh, make sure you guys comment video ideas on what you guys would like to see next thank you guys for watching we'll see you guys on our next video Thank <laughs> you.